Okay, class, we told you things would get a little more interesting. Today we get a little more complicated. First off, we go back over a little bit about the amino acids. As always, like, subscribe, and share to keep Doc Mo happy. <clears throat> There are 21 amino acids, 12 we generate ourselves, 9 are essential ones we have to get from foods that we eat. Aminos make up the protein which is used to repair, construct, maintain everything about us. Blood, hair, bones, muscle, nerves, heart, skin, teeth, etc. Phytonutrients. This is interchangeable with phytochemicals, but we would rather take in nutrients than chemicals. These are powerful nutrients found only in plants. They have antioxidant effects, they enhance the immune system, and they even cause apoptosis. I should have put that up on the board. What apoptosis is, is basically Kamikaze of cancer cells. Cancer cells kill themselves. Phytochemicals are responsible for DNA repair, help detox the body of carcinogens. We won't be going over all of them as there are 10,000 plus. That would make for one fun test, wouldn't it? Okay, they include, some of what they include is monophenols, lignans, flavonoids, curcumin, hydroxycinnaminic, cinnamic. That takes us to the next word, phenols. Phenols are a part of the massive phytochemical phytonutrient group. Elegitanins are dietary polyphenols in berries, nuts and seeds, walnuts. They are potent antioxidants and you need to get in as many as you can. Again, phenols are phytonutrients which are plant nutrients. Walnuts in particular reduce C-reactive protein as well as plaque adhesion molecules to the arterial walls. Both of these, if you do not stop them, increase arterial inflammation, something we don't want. So, walnuts help to improve elasticity of your blood vessels. Polyphenols. That's exactly what it means. Combinations of phenols that occur naturally together. These include theograndins, quercetin, epicatechin, and many others. Flavonoids, anthocyanins, these protect the heart. They have anti-cancer properties. Again, and they are found in berries, grapes, dark chocolate, green tea, olives, olive oil. Now, if you notice the very bottom word, That's abbreviated EGCG. Can you say that? I bet you can. That is a polyphenol in green tea which has powerful cancer fighting properties. Make sure you drink some green tea each day. How do you pronounce that? It is epigallocatechin 3 gallet. So next time you're hanging out with somebody for a cup of coffee and you decide to have a cup of green tea instead, if you want to make it even more beneficial, put in some fresh squeezed lemon, maybe just a dash of honey, and tell them you're getting your epigallocatechin. Catechin 3 Gallet 
for the day. Okay, lots more fun words coming. Lots more learning. We'll see you next lesson. This is Curly, signing out.